this is Carolyn at Carolyn's Paper Therapy. Today I'm going to share with you a, a smaller version of my music uh, journal called Make Beautiful Music. These papers, uh, for the most part, are from Kelly's Crafts called the Musician's Parlor. The cover here consists of um, cardstock folded in half with a lace trim and then a pear clip in the corner with some uh, lace and some silk ribbon key and a little tag attached on there. This journal is made from I believe it is one, two, three, four prints, doubles, uh, four prints on cardstock, with the front being the design and the back being plain. And uh, these are four put together here. So I have inside here, these are two plain. I put them back to back. These two are decorated, these two are plain, these two are decorated. And each uh, pair of pages are cut slightly smaller in the width so that when I close the book, they don't stick out from each other. I'll explain that better when I go through the journal. Inside front cover was blank and I covered it with a piece of um, vintage sheet music and I took a long tag from the kit that I had and made a side pocket with these two items in it, a postcard and another tag. On this side, this was a blank page also. So I put some uh, coffee dyed paper backing on there. I stenciled some music notes, used some cheesecloth and uh, vintage lace here. And this is one of the um, pockets that I made out of a toilet paper roll. You take the toilet paper roll uh, smash it flat, glue on your uh, backing, stitch it around, and then decorate it and put your tag inside. These flowers that I have on here are just stickers. This page here is printed from the kit. These two printed from the kit. Uh, this is some ribbon that I saved off of a package that I got and some more of the uh, crocheted lace and uh, some words from another kit that I thought matched this really well. So there's plenty of room here to write on this side. These next two pages were the back side, so they were blank. Uh, this one here I backed with a kind of a ledger page that was that was decorated and printed from that same kit, but on uh, regular paper rather than cardstock. And then I took this piece and made a hinge out of the lace ribbon so that it could be written on on the back. This is a butterfly sticker. On this side, I used some more of that uh, vintage piano music that I had gotten at an auction. This is some washi tape. I have lots of washi tape, but I rarely use it because I don't um, have I'm not making things that it goes with, but I thought this was really kind of had a vintage look and brought out the dark tones in these papers. 
This has a tag in it. I want to always leave enough room for writing, so I either have tags or clips that um, include a place for writing. This is a pocket that was included in the kit, and then um, I put this tag in, and I just glued it on three sides to make a side pocket for extra tags. This is the center of the book. And so these are printed directly from the kit. This is a, a word from another, um, so another kit that I bought. This tag I made into a pocket. And these books made like this are, are made by uh, sewing together the, th the thicknesses of paper by punching three holes and threading your thread through, tying a bow, and then I always leave the strings long so I can have these charms and ribbons hanging out the bottom of the journal. And these two pages were plain blank pages, so I decorated them with uh, pieces from the kit. This is some music from that kit. This is another um, uh, toilet paper roll that's been fixed like I told you before. And I use, I tried to use lots of ribbon in here. I just love this, this old, this ribbon. And so this can be written on the back. This is some more of the coffee dyed paper that I stenciled some music notes on. And I took this just guess check that was printed in the kit that I bought and cut this off and made another little pocket here. These are words from another kit. I think it's happiness and crafting. These two were printed from the kit and I just used some cheesecloth here so there's plenty of room for writing. Has the music faintly showing in the background. And these two pages were blank, so I used um, a print from the kit uh, of a ledger sheet with roses. This is a pocket that, that was from that kit for a side pocket and I used it up in the middle of the page and put these uh, ephemera in there. These, these are not from that same kit, they're from a different one. I just, when I find a, a primary kit with a theme, then I go and find other ephemera kits to go with it. This flower is a sticker. And this is the last page. And uh, I did what I like to do sometimes on the last page, is make a flip out uh, for extra writing surface. And I use the uh, ribbon as a hinge. This is some more of the coffee dyed paper and some ephemera and uh, different things from different kits. This is a flower sticker. So this was a small one, and uh, I have one more to make out of these papers. I have three friends that I want to give these to, so I have one more to make, but each one is unique in its own way, and I hope you will find um, uh, inspiration and encouragement uh, to create your own ideas from what you've seen here. And so remember, every day is a gift. As I always say, every day is a gift. Um, no matter what's going on in your life, always find joy in it and share it with others. Um, today, I was gonna spend the day working on taxes and uh, I had a friend drop by and uh, we met another friend and went to Cracker Barrel for lunch. So there's always a chance to uh, maybe get out with friends and enjoy the day and if you can, when those opportunities come along, 
say yes because it does your heart good to get out and enjoy other people's company. And so until the next uh, music journal is finished, uh, I'll say goodbye for today. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.